Hey, I'm David King, LearnFraming.com. Today we're going to talk about common rafters, how to measure them, how to calculate them, how to lay them out, and how to cut them. So rafters have been around since day one. They're a real important part of carpentry. You need a little bit of experience before you try to go to fooling with rafters. You're going to need some basic tools. I'm going to use a set of saw horses, framing square, and circular saw with a framing blade on it. Also, I'm going to need some sort of calculator to convert the width of this roof into a run, which I can then convert to a rise, which can be converted to a rafter length. Well, I'm going to just use this app I've made. We can use either one of them. You can click here, you can click here. One of them's uh, just an internet web page, and one of them's an Android app. Both of them work exactly pretty much the same. They both give exactly the same answer. It makes it really easy. All right, that's about what we got going on right here. This is the outside wall here. Two top plates on it, OSB. Same thing over here. Okay, what we got, we're going to cut a rafter from this wall to this wall, and both of them are going to be on the same pitch and meet in the middle. Okay, so the most basic thing we need is the, is the roof width. In this case right here, 25 and a quarter. Now, either one of these apps, you can enter in 25.25, 25 and a quarter, I prefer two foot one and a quarter. Okay, you're going to know a, a few things. You got to know the thickness of the ridge, which in our case is inch and a half. All right, you got to know the pitch of the roof, which in this case is eight twelve, and you got to know the width of the roof, which in this case is twenty five and a quarter. All right, when you enter these values into either one of these apps. Then you're going to come up with three very important measurements. The main one is the length of the rafter, one foot two and a quarter. That's from the top of this slope right here, top of the ridge plumb cut, down to this cut right here, down along the top edge of the rafter. Okay, and all this HAP does here, the height above the plate, the higher it is, the more it makes this distance here. But the rise is going to stay the same. That's going to be 7 and 15 sixteenths no matter what. Just the higher you make this, this is just going to grow from the top of the wall. It's just that simple. And the run, of course, is half of the roof minus the ridge, which in this case is 11 and 7 eighths. These are very important measurements. You're going to write, want to write these down on the rafter pattern so they don't get lost. All right, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to make a rafter pattern. So you're going to start with the ridge cut at the top. Now you're going to, go, you're going to want to use a framing square to make these cuts with. In this case, we're going to keep the small side of the square, which is the tongue, on 8, and the big side, which is the blade, on 12. That simple. And we're going to mark the plumb cut. We're going to, and we're going to go ahead and saw that to an 8, 12. Now we're going to hook the tape measure along the top side of that. And we're going to mark this length, the um, one foot two and a quarter. You do that plumb cut, and, and how big you make your notch, and how wide you how wide you set the tail up for the soffit or whatever. That all depends on you. You know, you're going to need a little bit of experience before you start fooling with these rafters. But let me tell you something about that tail. That tail means everything about the, the, the cornice. So, I mean, we pronounce it cornice, but anyways, it all depends on the width of the soffit and the width of the brick, brick pocket. Now you're going to want to make that tail to be uniform to allow just a little bit where, you, you, you know, you end up with a right size soffit material in brick pocket without having to adjust these tails later. Anyways, regardless of all that, what you want to do is make you a rafter pattern. You cut that pattern, and then from that you cut two more rafters off that, and then you check those rafters. But keep that pattern regardless. That's going to be key to everything.